Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. And uh, what a wonderful welcome to receive from all of you. Thank you so much. As you've seen, we've been very privileged today to be joined by some very special guests. It's been wonderful to have the Minister of Education and Vocational Training of the Spanish Government with us, Pilar Alegria, uh, the Minister of Education from the Basque Government, Joaquin Bilderatz, the Vice Minister of Vocational Training of the Basque Government, Jorge Araraya, and the Vice Minister of Education of the Basque Government, Begonia Pedrosa. So thank you for joining us today because it shows us how much you truly value technical and vocational education. Well, folks, I have to say it is absolutely fantastic to be back, isn't it? It's just wonderful to be back together. <laughs> Technical, vocational and education training time has truly come. Governments from around the world are all recognising they need us. It is our students who will drive our future ec economies, create new businesses which they will deliver and operate in new ways. We all know that the past few years have caused us all across the globe much heartache, but it's also created so much learning. So I want here and now to acknowledge and applaud each and every one of you for the tremendous work that you have all done throughout the awful COVID pandemic. You have supported young people, families, staff, each other and your communities. So I want to say a heartfelt thank you for all the lives that you have touched, for the inspiration that you have given, for your great, great leadership, and for all I know you will do in the future, as you help your cities, regions, and countries grow their future economies and societies through high quality, entrepreneurial, professional, technical, vocational education and training. You are all stars, and so from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. <laughs> Clearly, the global technological shift made throughout the pandemic has helped us all in advancing our use of technology. It's enhanced our creativity, entrepreneurial skills, our teaching, learning and assessment through blended learning and delivery, and it certainly has made the world a much smaller place to share and learn. We know that the pandemic destroyed many, many businesses, but it also birthed many more, and it will continue to do so as it adapts to the new ways of working and living. So despite the devastation it brought, and it brought a lot, it also brought some great benefits and learning that we will see evolve and thrive over the coming years. It brought humanity back into many societies. It taught us to respect, care and cherish many aspects of our lives, such as family, friends and communities. Personally, it heightened the lessons of kindness and forgiveness that my late parents taught all of their children. It made us grateful for many things that some societies had taken for granted. And it gave us a baseline to grow out of. Entrepreneurship, creativity and resilience flourished. We became globally sustainably connected, deepening and growing our passion for technical vocational education and training. Yes, TVET's time is now. And together, we can reshape our global economies through ensuring that we create the culture and environments for all of our students to create the world of the future. As chair of the World Federation of Colleges and Polytechnics, it gives me tremendous pleasure to be here with you today in this fabulous city and this absolutely amazing venue to officially open our Congress. 
I'm extremely grateful to the team at Technica and the Bass government for organising and hosting our Congress. As you all know, organising a global Congress is a huge task. So I want them to know from all of us here today that we are truly grateful for the work that they have done leading up to the opening today, but also in all the work they're going to continue to do until they can relax after the Awards of Excellence dinner on Friday night. So with the staff of Technica and the representatives of the Basque government, please stand to be recognised and would you show them your appreciation with a round of applause. Please. I also need to acknowledge the board members of the WFCP, in particular the organising committee for this year's Congress. That is Inigo Ariski, Susanna Espila, Denise Amiot, Larry Rosia, Mary Ferrone, Lynn Dolby and Emma Meredith. And again, please guys, please just stand for one moment so people can recognise you and the hard work that you have all put in. The beginning of this week commenced with our youth camp where students from across the globe met to begin their journey together to develop a statement, the voice of youth. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward. I'm excited to hear back from them tomorrow as they truly are our future. At the same time on Monday, a two day leadership program began and it engaged 40 delegates from 10 countries in strategic thinking and sharing experience about today's key leadership issues. And this was led by our partner, PIN. It was followed yesterday by the affinity groups. And for me, the affinity groups are a fantastic vehicle for our teachers' professional development. So if you have further suggestions for new subject areas, please let the WFCP Secretariat know. We have over a thousand delegates registered from 42 countries. And so there's certainly much learning for all of us to do. So it will come as no surprise that we have built a truly diverse, inclusive, exciting programme for all of you. So please enjoy. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs>